This is the building I was just staring at a second ago. Saw wow, you saw me from there? Freaking eagle eyes. Holy <laughs> shit. I'm going to see if they're still alive. Cover me. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Thinking I might just have to kill everyone. Get to shelter. I see where they fired off. Big man. Take that shield. I see her. When blues are better than your freaking exotics. Terrible throw, Cassandra. Terrible. There you go. That should do it. I should let Pericles' contact know. Then be off on my way. A mace, man. Maces are so slow. Okay, dude, I helped you out. Okay, three of the subquests down. In we go. It's done. Hmm. You work quickly. What are you going to do with them? Dump them in a well. Ah, it looks like the official has arrived. I apologize for the delay. 
There was evidence someone attempted to tamper with the votes. Don't worry. The Ostraka are all accounted for. The votes were counted, and Araxagoras is to be ostracized. Be slow to fall into friendship, but once you do, continue firm and constant. It will be more difficult for me now that Anaxagoras must leave Athens. We were quite close, although he and Pericles were much closer. It's strange, Pericles wasn't here today to defend him. Would Pericles normally defend someone? A good friend? Of course. Yet, Anaxagoras seems pleased with the result. This day has brought more questions than answers. You said you were close. He was like a mentor to me. Many of my best thoughts came to fruition through our conversations. Who are you? Ask anyone and they'll tell you Socrates. But a name gives you nothing. Our actions determine who we are, and every action has its pleasures and its price. With that said, then, who do you claim to be? My name is Cassandra. And still, I don't feel I know you. Perhaps I can find out who you are a different way. You want to know me? Knowledge is the one good in this world. Surely you agree? Of course. Knowledge drives everything I do. Then we are the same in that way. Knowledge of when to attack, what weapon to use, or when to use reason instead of violence. We seem to put our love of knowledge into practice quite differently. I use it how I need to. You are clearly someone who would do whatever you feel is necessary. Perhaps for Drachmi, or maybe to further a personal goal. That describes a lot of people. I suppose I'm curious why you did it. How could I not be when you're the reason my friend is being forced to leave the only home he's ever known? I did what I was asked to do. And your needs are greater than those of the man you helped ostracize. Still, you raise a fine point. Who is more responsible? Anaxagoras for getting himself mixed up in this, or you for simply sealing his fate? I'm not responsible for his actions. I have one thing to think about, my own. Then I hope you also think about today, about Anaxagoras, about choice. Socrates, there you are. Here I am. You're late. They're all waiting for you. I wish to see Anaxagoras' fate, and so I have. Tell them I'm on my way. Well, it seemed our conversation is at its end. Although I hope it isn't the final one we have. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Those blue gauntlets are so out of That's place. That's everything that he wanted. Time to return to him and find out what these Athenians know about my mother. Where are you at, bounty hunters? These bounty hunters are boo boo. We could use a new chess piece though. Level 24. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go after this guy. Kill him, get my bounty, and then I'll be off. Is that on a horse or something? It's moving really fast. I don't want to be spotted here. Your head's worth a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's a lot of HP. 
Too late to run now, boy. You brought this on yourself. Oh no, another one's coming in. Stop. Oh, careful, careful, careful. On fire. Oh my god, the fire killed me. Wow! Wow! That's everything Pericles wanted. Time to return to him and find out what these Athenians know about my mother. Okay. Should I... And these guys are too close. I'm just gonna pay it down to them. Go away. The gear's not even that great. Let go, let go, let go. I could use some new weapons. I should try to stay out of sight. Yeah. Alright, Pericles, what do you know? I feel like I'm gonna get the shaft right now. That big oldie! Boobies. Hey! Cassandra, it's you! Phoebe! You said you weren't coming back to Kefalonia, so I decided to leave too. I said I wouldn't be coming back. But I don't remember saying you should leave. Well, here I am! How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some draft me working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe. I needed a drachmi for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby. But every once in a while, something feels familiar. It's nice. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry, I'll take care of them. We don't want to scare people in there. Well... How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. We didn't know it was her, though. And you convinced her to hire you? No, she asked me on her own. That was lucky. I think I'm ready to go in. You can't! Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things? Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner, and I'll come back when you're done. I feel uncomfortable in this. Now you look like everyone else. You say that like it's a good thing. It is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. 
Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. Here, Cassandra. The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made her grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotus! Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of their opinionated tongues. Ah, Sophocles and Everybidis, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, every PDs. <laughs> I've heard of Sophocles. In my line of work, it pays to know who the richest and most famous men are. Hermipos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachos. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh, he never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates, always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy, but for love. The heck is going on here? Orgy coming. <clears throat> uh, let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good and don't drink too much. <laughs> That's so, a huge cup. Tell me, what does a Mystios like you think of a party like this? This party could be fun. Alcibiades drinks like a Spartan. Maybe he fights like one, too. If I could suggest anything, please don't start a fight. Or end one. Thank you, Herodotus. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere, and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your brother said. Agreed. Pericles needs to know. I'll stay here and look for clues. I hope they know something about your mother. Me too. <laughs> Gather info. I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with every Pedis. I've seen lots of fights. That wasn't one. <laughs> I really made a fool of myself this time, didn't I? I'm Sophocles, though I'm sure you knew that. 
And you are? I am looking for information that'll help me find someone. A Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. You could talk to every Pidis. He's the second most worldly man here. That pediculous Xanthodontus exothalmic Morosov. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. So we get him drunk and he talks. He sounds more Argiv than Athenian. Impressive foreigner. Every Pidis is from Argos. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You'll need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when every Pidis is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me, how does Pericles know you? I'm the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor to every Pidis, lover of Asclepios, father of theater, and so on, and so on. I'm sure it's a real honor to have you hiding in his kitchen. You're awfully worked up over every Pidis. You sure you're just friends? I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess, every Pidis and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with a banal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. I'll get the one. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Say for that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests in here. Can I help you with something? Mm. I've come to get your finest dry wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. Yeah, no, I should have taken the sweet wine. Someone's being hurt. Yeah. Open this door or I'll kick it in! Oh, 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 don't mind her. She likes to watch. Look at you. Such authority, such aggression. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide. This guy's so Why gross. I only came to this symposium to find someone. Sounds like we can help each other then, doesn't it? You fetch us a bit of oil, I help you find who you're looking for. Maybe they're in here. She's not in there. I think I'll check all the same. I come bearing gifts. <gasps> We're safe! Today, these women grieved for their sons, and these men worked the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to join us? No, thank you. Really, no, thank you. Now, it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business, right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? 
No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. Theatera? I've heard they play some sort of role in Corinth, but I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh, no. These women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force. And the only ones there with any smarts. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anfusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Anfusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. <laughs> Could have gotten drunk.